So some of you asked me to share more about my plants and here are three of my little babies. They are living in this cute animals made out of recycled bottles. So we have a little panda that has a plant in it that needs some soil. Then we have a little bunny with an avocado living in Leica. And then we have a fox that has a Haworthia that barely has any roots living in perlite. So let me show you how I made these little cuties. But first, I need to tell you that you can have any plants living in these little bottles. At least my plant baby survived because I make holes in the bottle. Like in this little panda, it has some sort of drainage. So then we use this IKEA hack with the cup holders. So we protect the surfaces where we put our plants in and they have worked for me. They barely need any water, but for the avocado tree who lives in Leica and nutrients, it doesn't have drainage and it works perfect. So let me show you. We are going to start just getting a bottle out of our recycle. Don't worry about that. We're going to get rid of that mark. But then we just grab a Sharpie or any marker will do that won't rub off. And we're going to draw our design. This one is going to be the bunny. For the fox, you need just two triangles. And for a other type of bunny, just two long ears. I'm just curving this. And for the panda just two little round ears like it's a bear so and then do the eyes these are gonna guide you to see what your plant's gonna um what you plant it's gonna be looking like but then we just cut the planter be very careful because plastic can also cut not only your scissors so as slow as you can and as steady and you will have this cute plant pot then we're gonna get some um nail polish remover this one doesn't have acetone in it, but I've heard that the one with it also removed the marks. And some people commented in one of my videos that alcohol um, helps remove marks too. So this will also get rid of the little marks that the bottle has on the bottom, like the reference or the date or whatever for expiration in the back. So don't worry about that. It's not going to look bad. Look, just rub it off and it comes right off. And then I didn't have my Sharpies in pink, so I just took this Chalcola um, markers. These are chalk markers and they've worked great. I mean, since I made this video, they've held on. I just obviously don't wet the container much, so they stay. And to activate them, you just need to press on the little tip until the color comes up. Now I have two little um, pink colors as options. So I decided to start coloring the ears, the little, um, the little ears with the lightest shade and then do some more details with the darker, like for example, the little nose is the darker pink. And then I add some detail to the ears with the dark pink too. So don't be afraid of mixing your shades or even making your bunny any other color you like. It doesn't necessarily have to be pink. This just happens to be my middle son's favorite color. And since it's going in their room, then, you know, he's got the panda. My other son's got the little fox. And this one, it's for my middle son, which it's um, a sucker for pink. And I love that he loves pink. So now you can see that I gave some details, but I'm adding some more later on. Now I'm taking my avocado tree that it's been growing in sphagnumus. I know it looks gross. It's because of the sun hitting it. So it's green, but it's not like disgustingly harming the plant. It just looks disgusting. So you take, well, I took my avocado out of the moss carefully so that I wouldn't ruin the roots. This is the easiest way I've found that I've grown avocado right next to a window that's why it goes all greenish but don't worry you get the roots untangled and then it's perfect for their new you know for the avocado new like a life and i'm gonna need a name for this little avocado tree she doesn't have a name yet so if you have any suggestions for a name for an avocado lady tree <laughs> let me know in the comments below i would love to see what you come up with um, yeah, here's what I said about the little details. You can fix them later. And again, these chalcola markers um, worked great for me. 
So if you have Sharpies or if you have charcoal at home or if you have any other um, markers, you just feel free to use those. Then I'm just rounding a little bit the eyes because they look too little for me. I'm sorry, they might look too big for you now. But now what we need to do is to add the Leca. And like I said, um, if you don't know much about Leca, then you can do soil in, in instead of Leca. But I really like Leca, it's not messy at all. I can just forget about the plant and just refill it with water and nutrients and my tree will grow perfectly fine. This is what they use in hydroponics. So if you are interested about that, let me know in the comments and I'll drop some links for you so that you can learn more about it or I can make a video about this if you have any specific questions. But yeah, I'm just covering up my seed up to the middle point because that's how I was living in this sphagnumus. And that's it. This is basically my little lady avocado tree in a bunny. So I hope you like this video and I hope that you like me sharing about my plants since you asked for it. And if you have any questions or suggestions, let me know. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so and hit the notification bell so that you won't miss the video. I will post some more pictures of these cuties over on my Instagram at MixItUpMarcy. Thank you so much for watching and have yourself a very lovely day. Bye!